Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my May update to the This is Fantasy Project Pan. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab that was created by Allie, and I do have her link down below. This project started on October 11th of last year because that is National Mythology Day, and it goes to October 11th of this year. Allie has created 21 prompts. They're all mythological creatures with prompts to go along with each of them. I don't remember how many she originally said you're supposed to roll in at a time, but I rolled in all 21 of the prompts at the same time, just so that I could work on them throughout the year. And uh, yeah, so I'd know exactly what products I was working on and wouldn't have to stress about that. So I have been working on this for seven months now. We have five months left until the finale. As of the last update, I had finished six products or hit my goal on six products. I have three more goals hit for this update. So let's jump right on into it. The first prompt that I've been working on is for Centaur, a duo product. For that, I chose my Laura Mercier, Bright Secret Camouflage Brighten and Correct Duo. As of the last update, I had used this one 44 times. I had used it, had to use it 14 more and this is empty. I have finished both sides. As you can see that's it right here rolled all the way up and I did try to dig product out and this one is empty too rolled all the way up so this is my first empty for this update I'm glad that this product is done I got it for free from influencer for review purposes and I did not like it it has very little coverage and it just didn't work for me I need more coverage than this has to offer under my eyes so I'm happy that this one is gone and no longer part of my collection. The next one is for the prompt dragon, a large product. So I chose my James, no, not James Charles, <laughs> my Jeffree Star blood sugar palette. And I decided to work on one of the eyeshadows from there because his eyeshadow palettes are very bulky. So I was working on the shade, ouch. As of the last update, I had used it 54 times. I have used it 20 more and I still don't have pan. I have the biggest crater in here, but I still don't have pan after 74 uses. Now I know in the picture there is a little teeny tiny fleck that is not pan. It is just like a little glitter particle. I looked at it because I know some of you are gonna tell me that I have pan. I don't, I wish I had pan. 74 uses and this one's gonna take me at least probably another 10 more uses till I hit pan. So I. We'll keep this in for another month and try to work on that pan. I am wearing it actually in my uh, transition area today. The next one is for fairy, something that is plant or nature themed. So I went with mud. This is my Formula 1006 Deep Down Detox Ultra Cleansing Mud Mask. As of the last update, I had used this twice. I have used it five more times and I think I'm about down to here. I can kind of see through the packaging and just squeezing it as much as I can. I don't think there's an air bubble in here. So I'm at seven uses and I'm down to about right here. I'll just continue working on this. I probably have five or six more masks in here and then this one will be an empty. Next was for Giant, something you loved before it was big in the makeup community. I had no idea what to choose. So I chose my Billion Dollar Brows Clear Brow Gel. As of the last update, I had used this 126 times. I've used it 28 more and it is still going. I still get product out on this every time I uh, go to use it. So I'm at 154 uses and this is still going. So we'll see how many more months there are were the product still in here, but for right now, I'm still happy, it's still working, so no complaints. Let's see, some of these products I haven't worked on, so we're just gonna skip on down to the products that I have worked on. Next one is for Hydra, something that you pan and pan and pan and never finish, and for me, that is blush. So I have been working on my MAC blush in the shade Blush Baby. As of the last update, I had used this 70 times in this project. I have used it 27 more, and this is what it's looking like. I think that I, this has no more than two months left worth of product. I am getting so close to finishing a full-size blush, and it's a MAC blush to boot. I'm so excited. So I am at 97 uses in this project, and this is all that I have left. I cannot wait until this is an empty. So 
we're still going on this one and I I'm gonna keep track of all the uses I can't wait till that pan's gone <laughs> next was Kraken an item that has lots of pigment so I rolled in my Danessa Myricks vision cream cover as of the last update I had used this 148 times I had to use it 28 more and it, it, it is still going I think I was right here last month and 28 uses that's the only amount of progress I was making just a couple of millimeters that's all I was able to use and I've used this 176 times and it is still going I thought this would be practically empty this update maybe that's two more months worth of use out of here I use this as a cream bronzer every time I do my makeup I put a line here I even go across my forehead it's still going there is so much product in here well I guess I should say I need so little product that it is lasting a really long time I think that's several trash trucks out there in case you're wondering what's backing up <laughs> let's see next was a leprechaun something that you thought you would have good luck with I chose one of my favorite hand lotions this is a hemp's pumpkin spice and vanilla chai lotion right here as of the last update I had used this 162 times I used it 30 more and this one is gone hopefully you can see in the bottom there it is all gone so I got every last bit out of here that I could I got 192 uses out of this it smells amazing I love this and I do have another one of these that I have rolled into the panners pan so I can still continue to work on this scent it is lovely so this is my next empty for this update after that we're going to jump down to Phoenix something that was repressed or depotted and so I chose an eyeshadow from the Jeffree Star blood sugar palette in the shade donor until this update I have not worked on it so it was brand new I have worn it now 12 times and this is what it is looking like so I'm making some progress I'm tr I've worn off most of the star I have a little bit of a dip going in here this is way easier to pan than the matte eyeshadow is so I'm at 12 uses I still have a lot to go I am wearing this eyeshadow through the center portion of my eyelid so we'll see how many uses it takes me to hit pan in the shimmer versus the matte from the very same eyeshadow palette next was the troll something with ugly packaging again I didn't know what to choose so I chose my NYX HD studio photogenic concealer as of the last update I had used this 44 times I had to use it 11 more and this is an empty I took the stopper out and got every last bit out of there that I could so I got 55 uses out of here there's just not a lot of product in this this was the wrong shade for me wasn't my favorite formula I don't I'm not going to repurchase this one so this is my third empty for this update next let's skip down to werewolf something celestial themed I know some people went with stars and all of that stuff I went with angels <laughs> so I chose my Tarte Park Avenue princess chisel palette in the shade halo as of the last update I had used this 54 times I had to use well I used it 18 more times and this is what it's looking like so of course it's not quite finished yet but hopefully I haven't looked at the pictures hopefully the pan has expanded quite a bit I have used this 72 times in this project and still working away on it uh, I don't think I'm gonna have to repress it this month but coming probably within the next month or two I'm probably gonna have to repress that and bring the product back to the center of the pan next is another product that I finally started working on this was for the witch or wizard something that is magic themed so I chose my Juvia's Place I am magic concealer my goal for this was to use it 50 times I just started working on this and I have worn it 14 times so far so I still have 36 uses to go on this before it can roll out of the project but I do love this I am wearing it today this is a really good formula the final prompt is for zombie something that is falling apart this is my Ulta XO NYX palette and I was working on the pink shimmer eyeshadow as of the last update I had used this 30 times I have used it four more times and this is what it's looking like right now so I am making some progress I'm trying to bring it down both of the sides I'm trying to do it evenly it's not quite even but I'm trying 
So I've used this 34 times and I still have a ways to go before this eyeshadow is completely empty. So I'm happy that I have one, two, three products empty for this update. Looking at this, I somehow without realizing it put three concealers in this project. I'm happy that two of them are gone, so I'm just down to the one. I don't know what I was thinking. I probably just wasn't thinking when I chose all these products. I normally don't try to put that many items from the same category into the same project pan. So we'll see. So I'm hoping that I will have some goals met for the next update. I'm hoping that I can have pan in this one. I'm hoping that it won't take me longer than just this next month to hit pan in this eyeshadow. I wish I could say this one would be one month. I think it might be two though, which I think is crazy. And maybe this MAC blush could be done. We'll have to see. I'm not quite sure. I haven't, like I said, I haven't looked at the two comparison photos to see how much I was able to use up over the past month but maybe this one could be empty for the next update. That would be amazing if it was. So that is my entire update for you. There, like I said, there are five months left to do this project pan. If you wanna jump in, you can. You don't have to set finish goals. You can just set usage goals on these items and join in. Uh, this is project is a lot of fun and I've, I'm really happy that I jumped in and decided to join this project pan. Before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by.